You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KZCC LP Conroe and worldwide at IRLoneStar.com. And good afternoon. This is Dr. Carlos Sanchez with the Hispanic Chamber Connection Radio Show, a program that we have created and sustained for members of the Texas Gulf Coast Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. The Hispanic Chamber of Commerce is made up of various smaller chambers, different chambers that you might be associated with, including the Woodlands Conroe, uh, Vintage Park, Katy, the Galleria, uh, the Greater Lake Houston Hispanic Chamber, and more more recently, the Spring Hispanic Chamber, or Spring Kind. I'm not sure what we're going to call it. Basically, what that is, it's a, it's a group of business owners uh, who are getting together in the, under the name Hispanic Chamber of Commerce to do business, to educate one another, to work with each other, to support each other. And that is how these chambers have started. Uh, since the very beginning, our organization is the result of different interactions we've had with other uh, similar organizations, other similar chambers, where our members have gone and, and had an experience and they've said, okay, I'm, I'm going to try something that's more focused on smaller on smaller businesses. Uh, other chambers of commerce have different focus. I mean, every chamber of commerce has a different focus. And certainly ours is very, very uh, attuned to the small business owner, although, of course, we accept and we are willing and more than happy to work with bigger business. But uh, the good majority of our 350 members are small business owners. And so to that end, uh, our chamber is designed for small business, and we look for ways to empower our small businesses by providing training and providing all kinds of resources that help our members uh, get known and help them focus their message and so forth. And this radio program is one of those expressions of that of that uh, that willingness we have to look for ways to help our members. So um, with that also, it's important to, to realize that about 50% of our membership is not Hispanic. Some people ask me that question. They ask me that question all the time. It's like, okay, well, what's going on? You're a Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and you've got all all, all people who are not Hispanic in it. And I always say the same thing. You know, if you are a member of the general market, then you might be interested in the Hispanic market, which is why you would want to join. If you're Hispanic and you're interested in the general market or in doing business, then that's why you would want to join. So we're not an exclusive club. We're not in somewhere uh, in a room talking about other people, uh, like might be expected, speaking only Spanish and so forth. That is not at all what this is about or what the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce is. So when you come to our meetings, you'll find a very diverse group of people. And uh, these are people that get it. They get diversity. They understand inclusion. They understand that business is done across cultures. And that's why this group is characterized by a lot of really nice people and, and people who want to understand your business and talk to you about, about doing business, etc. So one of those people who, who are very welcoming and very, very sweet, very nice. He's an executive director at our Vintage Park location. We have a chamber there. And, and he's also a member of a, of a very prestigious and wonderful company. We'll talk about that later called Legal Shield. But that's our guest today. That's Stan Milliken. Stan, thank you for being on the show. Thank you, Dr. Carlos, for inviting me. Yes, sir. I look forward to this opportunity to talk with the folks. Yeah. And, and the bigger thing with Stan, for people that don't know, is that he, he basically is an ambassador of this organization. And if you look at Stan or if you talk to Stan, you'll see he's probably born and raised in Texas. Is that correct, Stan? Wasn't born, but I was raised here. Okay. And, and so uh, Stan Milliken is not, uh, you know, uh, Rodrigo Rodriguez or whatever. He's not, a, he's not Hispanic. And like we've said, you don't have to be Hispanic. But Stan does have a, a keen interest in, um, in millennials, for example, Hispanic millennials or even just Hispanic people in general because Legal Shield is such a powerful service and so needed in, in communities like the Hispanic community. So we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, before that, Stan, uh, let's just talk a little bit about the meeting you just went to. Uh, every, every Tuesday at 11.30, we have a lunch uh, here at Spring Creek Barbecue, right here off, what, uh, 242? Um, Research Forest. Research Forest. It's, it's in the Portofino Shopping Center. And um, we had about 40-something people there. What was it, 42? 42 people there today. 42? Was that including me or no? That was including you. Okay, so 42 <laughs> members and non-members show up, and basically they show up to network. Uh, you've been coming to that meeting uh, for a while, Stan. Oh, quite a while now, yes. And it's I learn something new every time I go there. I'm meeting new people each and every week, mm -hmm. and I go to three different meetings a week with this organization. 
the Vintage Park as well as the one in the Woodlands and in Katy. So you go to Katy as well, yeah. Right. And I meet a lot of fantastic people there, mm -hmm. people who want to do business, people who want to learn. And so uh, it's a great opportunity for me, and I'm going to continue doing it. Sure. And, and that's, a big, that's the thing. You know, we encourage our members, uh, you know, we have over 40 events per month, so we certainly don't expect you to be at every one of the events. I mean, that doesn't make sense. But to the, to, to the degree that you can participate and be in different events, it's helpful to you because people get to know you. You get to know our members, and they begin to trust you. And over time, that's how you do business. Absolutely. There's no like and trust factor. And we've told people that. Don't come to our meetings. And it's not a good idea to go to any meetings, but, it, you know, and try to sell what you're selling because people won't buy from you. It's, it's very hard to do that. Oh, yeah, you create friendships. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I've known, I knew a few people from other networking events before I joined this chamber, mm -hmm. but I've met so many new fantastic people. Yeah. And I love being around them. And it's growing, you know? Absolutely. Something like this morning. This morning, I was uh, I went to uh, Realty One. It's it's a it's it's a real estate group up here on 1488. They're they're right next door, or they're really close to Salt Remedy, and the Oilery, and uh, 1488 Family Medicine. So they're all on the same shopping strip, right? Right. And, and that that organization, that group, there were about 15 realtors there. You know, so. That's a big. That, that's a good point of contact for somebody that does legal shield for sure. Oh, absolutely. You know, so, so once they, they're going to start coming to our meetings, they're members already. But that's it's just an opportunity when you do things like that. You know that that uh, when you belong to an organization like this, you're exposed to and have more opportunities than you would in or, another organization. You know, correct. Especially exclusive ones. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We were talking about that earlier. You know, when you get into, into, into being exclusive and being too cool to do business with others, uh, you get a reputation. You know, whether it's an elitist reputation or the reputation of not being inclusive, and that doesn't necessarily do well for for networking or for business. Oh, you're limiting your business when you do that. Mm -hmm. And and you, by all means, by by excluding people, it's like you're telling them you're not good enough to do business with me. That doesn't make sense. No right. reason to do it to begin with. Right. So why even do it? So we just go somewhere else. Anyway, so on Tuesdays, like we said, Tuesdays we have a meeting every Tuesday at um, at Spring Creek Barbecue from 11:30 to 1 p.m. Everybody's invited to that meeting, especially uh, visitors. I mean, you're encouraged to come and check us out and see what we're doing. Uh, we've grown. Uh, we have about 350 members now. And this organization just continues to take leaps and bounds into, into a big organization or something of very high value to all of our members. On Wednesdays, when Katie, and, and you've gone to the Katie meeting as well, Stan. That, you've seen that one. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, I live in Magnolia. It's a drive, but I don't mind because you're meeting new people, mm -hmm. a lot of interesting people out there. You know, something else, it is a little bit different than the Woodlands. Yes, absolutely. Uh, a few characters, but yeah. I love, I love uh, seeing them there. They make it all fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. And the thing about that one, too, is that you went to the first meetings in Katy. Yes, I did. Where we would show up and like, well, this didn't work. You know, two people there and just right. us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, and that guy, by the way, guys, just for those of you listening, if there's anyone out there listening or if you know anybody, I'd love to speak with them, anyone that's ever started a Chamber of Commerce. You know, because everybody I know, nobody's ever started one. They, they all came in, you know, and most chambers of commerce that are out there right now are 30, 40 years old. I mean, you know, the Woodlands Chamber, the Conroe, uh, Lake Conroe, those, are, those chambers are established, and, and they, they, you know, they're decades old, right? So nobody's ever really started one. So, so nobody can tell me whether or not we're doing things right, you know? Like, we have 40 events per month, maybe a little bit less, maybe 35 to 40 per month. Nobody does that many events, you know? Well, I know it's doing right mm -hmm. because it's growing the way it is. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't, we wouldn't be growing the That's way true. we are. That's true. And our meetings get bigger and better every time. So so there are some things, and I have heard things about the way we do business that's different than other chambers, and I want to keep it that way because I know that even our ribbon cuttings are different and the things we do for our members are not the same. So, so yeah, so, so Katie started with two or three people, some of them interesting folks. We would do only breakfast in Katie when we started. And, and so we got a group of people there, but then, you know. And we have over 20. Yeah. Well, no, no, I don't, yeah. Well, we have about 40 members in Katie now. 40 members, right? Yeah. Uh, but we do get about 20, 25 people per meeting. So that's, that's now becoming number two in, term, in terms of size. Um, the Woodlands Conroe is first, but Vintage Park is second, for sure. Because we get about 30 members there. Right. You know? So that, that's this, the, the way this Chamber of Commerce is evolving and growing. And, again, it's, it's all for the benefit of our members. And we look for ways to help our members be successful. And, and, and like I said, we're not exclusive, so we do have about 30, 35 insurance carriers in our, in our chamber, about 40 realtors. 
you know, and then bigger business and, and just different sizes and different types of business. So on Wednesday, we're in Katy, that's for lunch, at a place called Abuelos, Abuelos Mexican Restaurant. And um, yeah, you know, food's pretty good there. And yes, it is. We'll be there for sure tomorrow, 1130. Yes. Then on Thursday, that's, that's your big one. It's Thursday, it's at Vintage Park. I'm not even sure if you should call that Vintage Park. Well, it is Vintage Park. It's Vintage Park. It's right there. That's in the Spring Creek Barbecue on 249 and Jones. Correct. And there we get now about 30 people. Right. So that's a pretty good size meeting now. Yeah, that's fantastic. We're getting new people every meeting. Mm -hmm. And that's, every you know, single meeting. that's the biggest challenge for all of us. And we, we, I reiterate this every time and every opportunity I have with our members. You, if you want to be a contributor and if you want to make things exciting and valuable to everybody, bring members, bring people. Because no matter what, even if you already know somebody and you know that they're not going to buy anything, it doesn't matter. When, when new people show up to our events, it makes it exciting and interesting for everyone. Absolutely. You know? And we've had a good variety of folks oh, that have sure. been joining. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. and I look forward to it every week. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a fun crowd, like you said. And, it's, and, and we're having a lot of people get up and do their seven-minute speech about what they mm -hmm. do and about themselves, mostly. Yeah. And it's entertaining, and you learn a lot about them. Well, hopefully, hopefully it is. You know, and again... We know how difficult those presentations are, so we all we do have formats in our chamber that help people put together their presentations, even their commercials, because you know, like even today and other times, sometimes people give commercials and you're like, oh my god, I've heard this so many, or, you know, it's just, or they're talking too long, or you know, so yes, we have you have the habitual ones who don't understand thirty to forty five seconds. Oh, they just can't do it. No. Yeah. So so, <laughs> but that's part of the that's part of the thing. It's what we do. And we appreciate every one of them, and, you know, if they do talk a lot or if they don't talk enough, you know, we know that they have value, and, and we want to give them that honor and that. So we give them some space, and most of them can take it, you know, in terms of, okay, it's enough, Sam, sit down. <laughs> you know, so people understand that it really is a business-focused meeting, and it's not a big deal. You know, so, so we're talking to Stan Milliken. Stan Milliken is with Legal Shield. He's an independent associate. He's been with Legal Shield now for a number of years. We're going to talk about that when we come back. We'll learn more about Legal Shield and learn more about Stan and, and how he brings value to the marketplace. So please stay with us, and we'll be right back. Looking for a bilingual insurance company in the Montgomery County area? Since 2006, the Amell Agency is a family-owned insurance agency, and it all started with Leonard Amell. Now working with three full-time agents, offering home, auto, life, and umbrella insurance, the Amell Agency works with you to provide the insurance you need. Whether it be for your business or personal needs, they put that need first. The Amel Agency of the Woodlands is open Monday to Friday from 8 to 5. Call today at 832-299-6640 or email them anytime at info at amelagency.com to answer any of your questions. For more information on location and inquiries, look up Amel Agency online at amelagency.com. The Amel Agency, Montgomery County's bilingual insurance agency. For those of you who like your partners, your gumbo, and your music salty, well, we're here to help with the music. Julian Shea here, host of Lone Star Country Nights Thursday, your weekly dose of roots and Americana and all the music that makes this part of the country special. We stir in western swing, honky-tonk, Zydeco, Texas blues, outlaw country, and put a pinch of red dirt, and then we smoke it over a slow fire. Then listen to the results Thursday nights on Conroe's 104.5 and 106.1 and worldwide at IRLoneStar.com. We're back. This is Dr. Carlos Sanchez with the Hispanic Chamber Connection radio show. I'm here with Stan Milliken. Stan is a independent associate with Legal Shield. Before we get there and talk more about that, Stan, uh, something that uh, I wanted to comment was um, on the difference uh, people in their background. You know, we just talked about some guys, some folks, some members of our chamber who are not native born American and raised, born and raised American, and they do business in a very different way. You know, so, so if you go to Latin America uh, and do business and network, the general sort of, of, of way of doing business is I approach you and I give you my business card and I tell you what I do. You know, and, and, I, and I talk because the more I talk, the more you'll listen, and the more you'll listen, the more you'll buy. So the philosophy right. is that the, the, it's more aggressive in that sense in, in that you have to want to buy from me because we're here in a, in a context, right, in a, in a meeting. And the way we do business as Americans is the other way around. Right. You know, you show up and, and, but don't talk to me about your business. Talk to me, talk to me about me. Let me understand you by you 
talking about me, you know, us becoming friends, then I'll do business with you. And so the approach is very different. And so when we get people from other countries, uh, they generally don't get networking. You know, uh, right. I, I, you don't know how many times I've been told by, by Mexican nationals and other folks, this doesn't make sense to me. It's such a waste of time. All you're doing is talking. And, and, and they tell me, yeah, well, that is what we're doing. We are talking. But there's, there's things we're talking about that does make a difference, you know? And there's an intention behind all of this. It's not just come here and talk. So, so how do you address any of that? I mean, you talk to, to guys that are not from America. You know, you talk to all kinds of different people. What do you do in that case? I mean, have you encountered that, for one, and, and what do you do? I have some. And what I do is just engage with them, talk to them, ask them for a business card, spend some time talking about their business. When you do that, people are going to be polite and ask you what you do. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a chance to talk back back to them about what it is you do. Mm -hmm. And I try to sit down with them and learn more, learn more. So when they tell you this doesn't make sense, <laughs> like they've told me, oh, I don't want to network. It makes no sense. I said, well, if you want to do business here, it needs to make sense. Mm -hmm. It has to. Right. You, know, you, know, you need to get to know people. You get to know them. They will like you, trust you. And then you can do business with them. It's not going to be an overnight thing, mm -hmm. no matter how hard you try. You know, we, we have somebody, well, never mind. That was a whole different topic, a whole different thing that I'd rather have for the end of this meeting, the end of this show. So let's go on with, with Legal Shield. Uh, I do want to preface everything. I would tell the, the public that I've been a Legal Shield uh, holder or a member of Legal Shield now for over 20 years. When I first joined Legal Shield, it was called Prepaid Legal Services. Uh, the CEO was Harlan Stone Cipher, and it was an unbelievable organization. It still is, but it was just beautiful. His story, the way Leo Shield began, uh, was really inspiring. That he had a car accident and he got sued, and it wasn't his fault, and, and all these things happened, and that's how he created Legal Shield uh, or prepaid legal services at that time. And um, I've not let it go ever since. And and I'm not one to be really loyal to things that I don't use right away, but this insurance although I don't use it all the time. Whenever I have used it, it has saved me thousands of dollars, and it's been very, very valuable. And I tell our members, and I tell my family and everybody else who will listen, if you have an opportunity to, to look at a Legal Shield plan, you owe it to your family, not necessarily to yourself, but to the family you have that you want to be uh, with peace of mind if any legal matter ever shows up. You've got to talk to, to Stan. You've got to talk to someone, who, you know, to someone who does Legal Shield or who understands Legal Shield because it's such a valuable product. No. And you said it right. It's peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Most people don't understand that. Mm -hmm. They don't understand how many times they've used an attorney in the past. But every time you've ever signed a contract, mm -hmm. every time you've ever got a speeding ticket, any time you've ever gone into a bank and asked for a loan, all those times you used an attorney. Because mm -hmm. those contracts that you signed were drawn up by attorneys sure. to help the other side. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't you have the very same protection to make sure no one's taking advantage of you? Even for things like, you know, and I think that that's why they make the, some of these contracts deliberately hard to put through a fax, you know? Yes. Like if you go, <laughs> if you go buy a car, that thing that they give you is, is such a huge printout. To be able to show that to your attorney, you have to break it down and, and fax it to them. Right. As right. a matter of fact, a friend of mine just did that. Mm -hmm. He bought a new SUV, and he sent it over to our attorneys. And they saved him over twenty two hundred dollars. Yeah, you know that finder's fee. What are, what are the fees that they? Well, they called it the dealer preparation fee. Mm -hmm. it's that nothing. was nineteen hundred sixty five dollars for a car wash. Wow. And you know when you pick that new vehicle up, they give you that coupon book that's mm -hmm. supposedly free. Mm -hmm. No, it's included in it. It's about three hundred and twenty dollars. Wow. Yeah. And then they also add on things like uh, delivery fees from the manufacturer to them. So well, that's your responsibility, not mine. Right. Right. So we've gotten those things saved. And like I said, the last person did save $2,200 that he would have been paying interest on for five years. Right. So. So, so, Stan, why don't you tell the public then, what is Legal Shield? What is it? It is a, for lack of a better term, insurance for your legal needs. Okay. We're not really an insurance, but we're formed that way. Mm -hmm. uh, most people today don't understand how many times they need to talk to an attorney about everyday life. Most eight out of 10 adults today don't have a current updated will. That's included in our monthly service. Okay. Most people don't know what to do. They get a traffic ticket, they go to court, they wait all day long. With our services, you get a ticket, you take a picture of it, you send it to our attorneys and they're working on it right away for you. Right. If you 
before you ever sign another contract, like we just said. Be able to review it, have your attorney review it to make right. sure no one's taking advantage of it. Okay, so so the plan itself, when I buy a legal shield plan, I should think of it as an insurance plan. Absolutely. Not as a reactive plan. In other words, I shouldn't buy it right now in order to fix a problem I have right now. You could, but no, you should have it all the time. What our biggest thing is for almost every person that calls in that signs up for a membership is being able to talk to an attorney mm -hmm about any legal issue and not receive a bill. So you can make the right decisions mm -hmm. in your life about all your personal issues, knowing that you made the right decision. It may not be a decision you like, but you know it's legal. Right. That's what you had to do. Okay, so for example, I've had people over the years tell me, I need to get a legal seal plan because I'm in trouble. And uh, that, it's the same as saying, I just had a car accident, now I need to go buy insurance. Correct. You know? Oh yeah. Because basically it's, it's reactive, you, you, you already, you already had an accident, now you're going to go get something to cover that accident, and that's going to be a problem, or it can be a problem, because the service doesn't work that way. Correct. Insurance doesn't work that way. We will, if you have a pre-existing condition, mm -hmm. we will take care of it for you. We do it at a 25% discount. Right. So it's not free. So it's not free, mm -hmm. but the legal advice to what you can do about it is. Right. So, And the bigger thing, too, is to remember that, that this, is, this is about you being proactive with your, with your affairs and with your things, and you know, everything from your will to, to, uh, to like, stand say, traffic tickets and being sued and things like that. If you're proactive, you'll have this plan in your back pocket, which is what I've had for 20 years. And, and even with the Chamber of Commerce, you know, we, we've been sued various times because, you know, we're in business. And, and, right. and some people get competitive about names and about things. And we've always been very happy with Legal Shield in terms of what, what uh, they can do for us, uh, the questions they can answer. Um, and it's very upfront. It's straightforward. If you have a question, you call them. They call you back, and, and things happen very quickly. So, go ahead, Sam. Yeah, they have. They've saved me thousands of dollars in the way they've helped me through a couple of issues that I've had. Mm -hmm. We do this for small businesses too. Small business owners are very good at their business, but they don't understand all the legal ramifications that come with it. Right. Particularly if they're having to hire or fire employees, having a, a small business plan with Legal Shield will give them all the advice, protect them lawsuit protection as okay. well, and be able to know that they're making the right decision for their business to keep it profitable. Right. So, so if a small business owner does not have a legal shield plan, small business owner, which I would think the majority of our members don't, as small business owners, as, as individuals they might. Right. Because right? I know that, you know, uh, at least a good, a good percentage of our members do have a legal plan. But as a business owner, I don't think, so what happens in that case? Should I... So should we be encouraging them to get uh, a business plan as opposed to an individual? Absolutely. If they are a person who works out of their home, mm -hmm. we have a rider for just $10 a month more that they could have on top of their legal family plan. If they have a storefront, if they have more than a couple of employees, as long as it stays under 100 employees, we have various legal plans depending on the size of their business and the issues that, that they want covered. Okay. So we have for them. Okay. And, and so... It's for people over 18 years old, right? Correct. So basically, you, you know, you're, you're, you're an adult, and it's just like a legal plan, I'm sorry, just like an insurance plan. And, and the whole idea there is that is it easy to join, Sam? Are there any oh, absolutely. requirements? Or? No, they just fill out an application or go to my website that they can do it. And this is going to cover you, your spouse, your children until they turn 26, as long as they either live at home with you or if they're full-time college students. No matter where they live in the country, as long as they've never plan. been married. One plan. One plan. We'll cover your family. Cover your entire family. Wow. Well, so, so, so if I have an issue or if my wife has an issue, my plan covers it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If your kids get a traffic ticket on the way to college, you know, or get in trouble right. with some riding around with some friends or whatever, they're okay. covered. So what happens then if, 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 for example, I have a plan and the person who I get into a situation with also has a plan? Then we have... We have associate attorneys all over the state, and they would assign one to each of us mm. to be able to take care of it. They're all qualified attorneys. It's not a good old boy system. It's people who have been vetted by Legal Shield, okay. and they'll be able to help them with getting the representation. All right, so, so they, if they need. need somebody. I mean, if, if I'm suing you or you're suing me, and we both have a plan, basically Legal Shield mitigates or, or mediates rather, right, to help us each find the right attorney so we can settle our, our dispute. Correct. Okay. All right. That makes sense then. Sure, because I didn't know how that one that part worked. Okay, so we're we're talking to Stan Milliken. Stan is with with Legal Shield. 
as you've heard already, legal skill is a tremendously valuable and, and very, very needed uh, legal instrument that all of us should have in our, in our back pocket for sure. I've had it for 20 years. It makes a big difference in your business, makes a big difference in your life, and it's just a peace of mind. When we come back, we'll talk more about the small business aspects of legal skill. We'll talk more about uh, more details. Uh, so please stay with us. Uh, we'll be right back. Looking for a bilingual insurance company in the Montgomery County area? Since 2006, the Amel Agency is a family-owned insurance agency, and it all started with Leonard Amel. Now working with three full-time agents, offering home, auto, life, and umbrella insurance, the Amel Agency works with you to provide the insurance you need. Whether it be for your business or personal needs, they put that need first. The Amel Agency of the Woodlands is open Monday to Friday from 8 to 5. Call today at 832-299-6640 or email them anytime at info at amelagency.com to answer any of your questions. For more information on location and inquiries, look up Amel Agency online at amelagency.com. The Amel Agency, Montgomery County's bilingual insurance agency. Don't forget to download the Lone Star Community Radio app for your Google Play or Apple Store. Bring Montgomery County's Community Radio with you anywhere with your smartphone or tablet. If you are in the Conroe area, tune in on FM. That is Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1. And we're back. This is Dr. Carlos Sanchez with the Hispanic Chamber Connection Radio Show. I'm here with Stan Milliken. Stan is with the Legal Shield, and we're talking about just the benefits and how wonderful it is to have the peace of mind knowing you have a team of lawyers uh, at your disposal if you need them for anything at all. They're a phone call away. They have all kinds of really good benefits for their members. Uh, legal Shield is like the legal insurance, we've said already, and it's very inexpensive. And, and so, you know, I was, I was going to tell you, Stan, about, I don't know, at least 20 years ago, before I, before I started my Legal Shield plan, I met this lawyer at this thing. I, I, was a board of, I was on a board of directors for some organization in Dallas. And so I meet this lawyer. He's there. And I, now, so I announced, um, I'm looking for an attorney. Because right? I had just written a book uh, that had to do, I had to have legal, legal questions answered about the book and about the publishing and everything else. So I needed legal counsel. Right. And uh, he says, yeah, I know. I'm a lawyer. And you can come and see me anytime. And we'll talk. And I go, oh, this guy's a, he's a nice guy. You know? So I went to his office, and I sat with him and his son, who's also a lawyer. And I remember I was really impressed because they took me to their back, the back of their offices and made coffee for me. And, you know, they were just really nice people. I didn't know that every single word I uttered was on the clock, every single part of that conversation. I got a bill at the end of, of, of a period of time for over $4,000. And I said, oh, my God, what is this? So I call him, and, and I said, w why are you? He goes, because you've been, you've, been, you know, you've been talking to us, and we're lawyers, and that's what we do. We charge you for our time. I said, I thought you were my friend. He goes, I am your friend, but you need to pay for that bill. And, and so I remember, because I, I asked him, you know, can I pay this in increments? And he goes, this, you know, it, it's, it's, it's more expensive than when I owed my car. I remember, because I still was paying, paying off the car. And, and I, I was just dumbfounded. I, mean, I was stunned at how expensive they were. You know, even the lunches we went to. You know, oh, so yeah. we would go, I'd buy them lunch, and, and they'd, you know, they'd ask me, uh, could you, you know, pay for it? And I didn't mind. I, I was, I thought, well, then my friends are giving me advice. So, yeah, sure, I'll pay for it. And um, I never wrote anything down. I never really thought it was a, a, a real conversation. In other words, I never thought I was hiring them. And I don't think that they were willing to tell me they were being hired. They just wanted to, you know, bill me. Yeah, all attorneys work, and they charge quite a bit of money. I've mm -hmm. said it before. Attorneys are worth their weight in gold. Mm -hmm. The problem is most of us can't afford very much gold. Yeah. So, and they charge in 10-minute increments for the most ten part. 10-minute increments. Yeah. Even when you're on the phone, if they start lollygagging and asking you about the weather or about Alabama or about some other goofy thing, you need to stop them. Absolutely. I mean, you know? I, I, and I've done that now, now that I know other things, you know, with people like that. It's like, I, I don't need all that. Just tell me the bottom line, yes or no. <laughs> You know? And that happens most of the time when people are going to get wills done. Mm -hmm. You know, you get into talking about your family. You can sure. go down this rabbit hole or that rabbit hole, and they're listening the whole time. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to sit there and charge you for all of that time. Right. Then when you leave, they're going to hand it over to their secretary mm -hmm. who's going to write it up for you yeah. at his rates or her rates, whatever the attorney's rates are, and then come back and go over it again. And again, you'll be going down rabbit holes wow. because they invite you to do that mm -hmm. with the questions that they have. 
And they're very sweet. I mean, I have nothing oh, yeah. against lawyers. You know, there's a lot of them. And we have several. We have about, about 10 law firms in our chamber. Right. You know, right. They're very good people, by all means. But that's just their business. It's what they do. It's how they do business. You know, it's Absolutely. Just like, it's just like Memorial Hermann. I mean, if you go down, you know, down the road here and, and on 45, you'll see all these hospitals everywhere. And those hospitals don't, don't exist unless there's patients. So they need sick people. You know? Absolutely. Which means it behooves them to keep the public sick. Right? <laughs> I mean, we've talked about that. That's oh, their yeah. business. You know, and a lot of people exit the, the whole field of healthcare just because their purpose is not necessarily to heal you. Their purpose is to run you through, you know, their, their mills so they can make money. That, that's, that's how they stay in business. So, so a good year for a hospital is a lot of tragedy. Yes. You know, absolutely. a lot of long-term care, a lot of things like that. That's a good year for them. So think about about the same thing with attorneys. I mean, they'll give you advice, but a good a good day is that if they spend eight hours with you. Oh, absolutely. That's a lot of money. It's a ton. Average price for an attorney in the state of Texas, I believe, is three hundred and seventy seven dollars yeah. an hour. Wow. Yeah, so okay. So now knowing that, knowing that, when we incorporated the chamber, when I first started this organization, I was wondering, should I make it an LLC? Should it be a 501c3, c6, or should I just be an incorporation, right? Or what should this thing be? I called Legal Shield at the 800 number. I gave them my member number, and then they do what they call an intake, you know, survey. Right. And so I just basically told her who I am, what I do, what I'm, what questions I have. And then she said, "We'll turn this over to an attorney. He'll take it, and he'll give you a call right back." You know, and I thought, "Right back, yeah, right." I'm not kidding. I couldn't even go to, into my next meeting, which was about 20 minutes after that. Because the lawyer had called me back already. And oh, she absolutely. said, I'm an attorney with, with Ross and Matthews here in the Texas you know, Legal Shield. And I have your questions right here. Let me answer them for you. And I said, okay. So basically, I, I called off the meeting. I sat down and began. I started writing. I, I wrote all her advice. And she said, any other questions? I said, yeah, I have other questions for you. She goes, okay, go ahead. So, so in all the sweetness that, that she conveyed to me, none of it had anything to do with, with uh, charging me. Because I knew that that was a benefit I have as a member. Right. I can ask any questions for as long as it takes, and they'll take care of me. They'll stay on that phone with you as long as it takes where you're satisfied with what you're learning. And with that, I was able to go to another meeting later with the board of directors and other people, bulletproof. It was everything, right. everything I needed legal, from a legal aspect. And I could say, I, I, uh, I spoke to our attorney this morning. Our team of lawyers has suggested we do this. And when people hear that or they know that you're actually backed up by lawyers, it's very different. Oh, absolutely. Like, for example, what do you guys do? You also send letters sometimes, right? Or we'll write letters and make phone calls on your behalf to third parties to help you resolve issues. So if somebody doesn't get or gets duped or they feel they get duped at Best Buy, for instance. Yeah. Well, like an example I have was uh, I had taken my wife's car into a uh, repair shop mm -hmm. at an auto dealership. Mm -hmm. I knew the work was under warranty. They claimed it wasn't. Mm -hmm. They billed me $1,060. And I paid it, called my attorneys. Sent them a copy of what I wanted as a resolve and a copy of the bill. Mm -hmm. Six days later, this auto dealership wrote me a check back for nine hundred and sixty dollars. And all of a sudden, they're all nice calling you, sir. Oh yes, you know, I just took ten minutes of my time. Mm -hmm. Like I said, six days later, I you know, had a that's check. that's huge, huge weight when you can send another business owner or someone a letter with with Ross and Matthews letterhead. Makes a whole lot more difference. It's so much better than you know the Carlos Sanchez company. There right? you go, yeah. and it does make a big difference. It, it, basically, it's one of those things that people pay attention to. They just know, you know, even if you are innocent in defending yourself, that's a lot of money. You know, that's actually a strategy our president used to use. Oh yeah, that he would just sue everybody because it, it's so expensive to to defend yourself that he knew he just puts a little bit of money into that that account and he'll oh, win. Yeah. Well, that's what big business has been doing for mm -hmm. centuries. You know, but now today we can equal the playing field. We right. can level it. Mm -hmm. People can have access to attorneys and be able to fight the unfairness that comes to them mm -hmm. when someone tries to overcharge them or not do the job that they should have. And the best part about it is, is it just about the state of Texas? Mm -hmm. We do in all 50 states and four provinces of Canada. Okay. And we have 6,900 attorneys. And most people can't understand that concept. Mm -hmm. But we have that many on retainer across the country, no matter where you are, to help you with your legal issues. So, okay. So let's, let's go really quickly, one, on one, one by one, to member benefits. Because I know that legal uh, document review right. is one of the benefits. 
one of the documents before you ever sign another contract, mm -hmm. have it reviewed by your attorneys. Okay, that's one. What else? Unlimited phone consultations. I call for whatever issues I have and they take care of me. Right. Mm -hmm. Write letters and phone calls on your behalf to third parties. So if somebody's not paying their rent or if the dog next door is barking too much, they can take care of that too. Right. Okay. Lawsuit protection, up to 300 hours of already paid for trial time. That's huge. I have that already. I there mean, you go. in the time I've got with Legal Shield, yeah, I've got 300 hours. What's good about that is if I get sued and somebody wants to take me to court, I have to, I mean, I can easily, if, of course, if, if the circumstance is appropriate, say, go ahead. I mean, I've got go. more time than you'll ever have. You know? Absolutely. You wouldn't believe how many lawsuits have been canceled just because our attorneys call up their attorneys and my client has 300 hours already paid for trial time. He's ready to go. Or you. Right. And that's the, okay. That's number four. What else? IRS benefits? IRS audit benefits. For, if you have a W-2, we also do uh, traffic. If you get a speeding ticket, we don't fix tickets, but we'll go to court for you, try to do the best to get it dismissed so it doesn't show up on your insurance. You know, that's interesting because I, well, it was like six months ago I drove through Seguin. Yeah. That, that's on 35, right? And I, I drove through, and of course, oh, I was yeah. going too fast. I was going like 10 miles over the speed limit. Yeah, so he stopped me. And so then later, I, you know, I drove back to Houston and everything else, but I had the ticket. I sent it to Legal Shield because they asked me. They said, you know, just send it to us and we'll look at it and everything else. So I sent it to them. Later, I forgot about it, and, and about a month later, they sent me a letter. Legal Shield, uh, the attorney sent me a letter said, we've gone to court to represent you, uh, and the, the charges have been dropped because the, the police officer did not, did not show for court. Right. And so the, basically, they took everything and they took care of it for me on that, on that level. They didn't say, we're going to write it off and we're going to make them you know, drop the charges. Basically, they represented me where I couldn't have or wouldn't have because it was too far. I would have just paid the fine. Right. You know? I had the same thing going up through Dallas, so mm -hmm. yes, I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. But we also, um, if you lose your license, we'll help you get it back. If you have a minor accident and you don't want to include your insurance company, we will also help with that to, to get the other person's insurance company to take care of the issue if they were at fault. We also have a family uh, plan mm -hmm. that includes uncontested divorces, name changes, and adoptions. Wow. At no additional cost okay. once you've been a member for 90 days. So the, the big idea there, guys, uh, for those of you listening, and if you don't have a plan, talk to Stan Miller, and he can, he can sign you up, he can hook you up, he can get you with one of these plans that will give you peace of mind, where you can at least get your questions answered, and that's a big deal. So if you're in business, if, you're not, if you have family members, if people around you, uh, do the best you can to, to convey them uh, that message, that there is legal representation. It's very inexpensive. And we'll talk more about the prices and different things like that. When we come back, we're talking to Stan Milliken with Legal Shields. I'm Dr. Carlos Sanchez with the Hispanic Chamber Connection Radio Show. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Looking for a bilingual insurance company in the Montgomery County area? Since 2006, the Amel Agency is a family-owned insurance agency, and it all started with Leonard Amel. Now working with three full-time agents, offering home, auto, life, and umbrella insurance, the Amel Agency works with you to provide the insurance you need. Whether it be for your business or personal needs, they put that need first. The email agency of the Woodlands is open Monday to Friday from 8 to 5. Call today at 832-299-6640 or email them anytime at info at mlagency.com to answer any of your questions. For more information on location and inquiries, look up email agency online at mlagency.com. The email agency, Montgomery County's bilingual insurance agency. Hey guys, this is Connor. This is Dick. This is Chris. And we're with the Ticket Stub Podcast every Thursday live at noon on 104.5 and 106.1 FM in the Conroe area. Also, anytime at IRLoneStar.com. You go to IRLoneStar.com backslash TTS. You can find all of our social media. And don't forget, we give away two tickets to the Grand Theater on every show. If you like movies and you like complaining or celebrating anything that has to do with the silver screen, check out the Ticket Stub Podcast and join us every Thursday at noon o'clock on Lone Star Community Radio. We're back. This is Dr. Carlos Sanchez with the Hispanic Chamber Connection Radio Show. The Woodlands Conroe Hispanic Chamber of Commerce is probably the largest chamber we have in terms of members and in terms of meeting size and everything else. So we're right up here in Conroe, and we're overlooking the great city of Conroe, the main street. It's beautiful out here. The weather's incredible. And we're talking to Stan Milliken. Stan Milliken is a representative. He's, a, he's an independent associate with Legal Shield. Legal Shield, like I said earlier, is, is a... It's a wonderful plan, guys. If, honestly, 
if, if you don't have this, you should really look into it. I mean, there's different ways of finding out more information, but without question, it, it is something that, that no matter where you are, we're in such a litigious society where so many things can happen. If you don't have some form of legal protection, or if you think you have it through like AAA or some other offbeat thing, like it, 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 some, some, I know some city governments have things like Wyatt or Hyatt or some other legal plans. Look into what you're getting as benefits and really compare it because Legal Shield is, is, is probably the best one you're going to find. And they have some wonderful benefits, with, which we just talked about. And it's really inexpensive. And that's something you want to make sure that you, you keep in mind is how much are you paying? You know, for, for less than a cup of coffee a day, you can protect your family and yourself of all kinds of legal issues. Uh, so Stan Millick and Stan, thank you for sharing all this information with us. And for talking. Thank you for inviting me. There's a lot of really good things coming up uh, with Legal Shield. If somebody wants to get involved with Legal Shield and learn more, what do they need to do, Stan? Best thing to do is go to my website, which is my name, Stan Milliken, S T A N M I L L I C A N dot com. Go down to the Legal Shield icon, click on that, and it talks about the business opportunity as well as the services that we have. Okay, so what if somebody wants to give you a buzz, give you a quick call? They can get, reach me at 832 671 5050. Good. All right. So if somebody, for example, has a quick question or if somebody wants to get involved and learn more, uh, you can either call Stan or you can go to his website and get more information. The thing is, I'm always amazed, Stan, and maybe you can explain this. I'm not sure if you can because if you could, I'm sure you'd be a different person today. Why is it that some people just don't do it? They don't think they need it. That's it? Is that the answer? They don't think they use attorneys. They don't understand how many times they have or should have. Okay. So, so... So it's really never about money, because it's less no. than twenty dollars a month, isn't it? No, it's twenty four ninety five a month. Oh, that's true. Yeah. New Year's Eve, it it, it, it expires so, because I pay nineteen dollars. I used to right. pay twelve dollars. Right, but we have, and what you had on your plan, then you still have. Mm-hmm. Our new plan has a few more extra things sure. on it, and like I said, it's twenty four ninety five a month. Perfect. And so that's really easy to get to. Um, to sign up, to sign up, it's just straight up, you know, it's a regular application, and, and then it's automatic draft. Is that kind of how that works? Right. They can pay monthly or they can pay annually. Okay. So hopefully you have a bank account. It would be better. Yeah, oh, it better. <laughs> or a credit card. Or, or a credit card. They can do that. They can go to my website and sign up, or if they contact me, we have paper applications we can do, mm-hmm. or I can sit there with my computer and sign them up that way as well. Now, something I read a little while ago back, What what is the... What is, what is the definition of market penetration, and, and what is the market penetration of Legal Shield now? Why is it such a big opportunity? Because we only have about a 2.5% market penetration. What does that mean? That means only 2.5% of the population has a legal plan. That means that there's a tremendous amount of people out there that don't even know what this is. Correct. Okay. So what that means is that that equals opportunity. Yes, sir. And if you want to start a business or if you want to be, you know, make extra money, this is a wonderful opportunity. Absolutely. There's no quotas. You work at your own pace. Just the amount of savings you're going to have on your taxes by having a small business is incredible. Mm. So you can be in profit mode, I mean, immediately. Mm-hmm. You get this membership, and of course, it, it's a requirement to have the membership, so it's a tax write-off. Oh, okay. So wow. you can be able to do that. And on top of all that, now, for all of our members and people who want to join, we have 450 companies giving our members discounts. Anywhere from movie tickets all the way up to buying a house. Okay. Wow, so, that's a whole different benefit. Right. Cell phone, food, clothing, all. So I could have had a, I could have had a, a discount. You can still do <laughs> that. So 450 companies giving our members discounts. Okay. And just for twenty four ninety five a month, what you can save on your cell phone and other things will pay for that membership every single month. So okay. So let's 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 suppose I want to start a business with, with Legal Shield. Go ahead. What, what is the, what, what's the basic requirement there? Is it just that I show up and, and you train me or what? Yes. Basically, it's a $99 investment. The state requires that you have a license. That's $20 a year. There's no test. It's there's, just I did it when there was a test. Yeah, there's no test But it was anymore. one of the goofiest tests. I mean, yeah. I, I they just make you read some stuff. Right. So it's, and we have training meetings every Tuesday. It's an opportunity meeting. So if you want to learn about Legal Shield, then go to these opportunity meetings we have weekly mm-hmm. and be able to learn what we do and how we do it and see if it's the right fit for them. Right. So you can call 832-671-5050. Stan, 
Dan will answer that phone, and he'll give you more information on how to get involved with Legal Shield and, and a lot about the benefits and the benefits of owning your own business. So let's go back to the benefits real quick, Stan. Um, if I'm starting a business, if I'm, if I'm brand new in business and I have no idea really right now what to do, uh, if I should incorporate, et cetera, is this a good time for me to get a Legal Shield plan? Oh, absolutely. Because you're going to need that legal advice to know that what you're doing, you're doing correctly. So should I get the family plan or the, the business plan? No, you need to get the business plan. Okay, because with that business plan, you have a right to talk about any business issue that you have. Is it for your plan, your older plan that you have will allow you to do some crossover. Today, we don't. Yeah, I, and I get that because I'm, I'm, I already know I probably need to get a business plan. But as the Chamber of Commerce, we're a nonprofit. It doesn't yeah. matter. We don't service nonprofits. Okay, so it has so to be for profit. Mm -hmm under 100 employees and not publicly traded. I see. That's probably why they were so nice to me, because they can't give me anything more than they did. Correct. <laughs> and plus, I've been a member for so long, I, I oh, probably yeah. put half of those guys' kids through college with all my... No, I'm <laughs> kidding. But, you know, but the thing is, when you stay loyal to an organization, I'm glad that they take care of you. For oh, sure. yeah. They will. Mm -hmm. They always have. Mm -hmm. Ross and Matthews is the law firm we use here in I've Texas. I've been there. Oh, yeah. It's their yeah. firm, yeah. Here in Fort Worth. Fort Worth. And they have associ we have associate attorneys all over the state. I've used several of them here in Houston, mm -hmm. and they have always done a fantastic job so, for me. So when you get when you get uh, the plan itself, then how? I mean, it's really easy for people to use it right away. Correct. I mean, they just send you make a phone call, and that's it. That you give people your 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 number, your member number. Right. What we're gonna what we've done now is everything's done on an app on your phone. Okay. So what does that mean? You download the Legal Shield app once you become a member. Mm -hmm. Set up a username and password, of course. And once you do that, when you open up that app, it's going to give you your membership number. It's going to give you call the law firm. If you got a speeding ticket, you take you tap on that, put in a court date, take a picture of the ticket, and send it to them, and they're working on it right away. Wow. And the documents that you need to have review, you have to use a fax, send that up to them. But everything that we have, including those member perks and emergency, you know, because Bad things don't happen just eight to five. Right. You can be able to get that attorney on the phone right away. So let me ask you this, Dan, because I remember that years ago, prepaid legal services had a special program called Legal Shield. Yes. Remember that? Yes. That, that on the spot you can get an attorney on the phone, especially at night, you know, on the weekends. Does that still exist? That emergency access is still available. Mm -hmm. you, know, you just call it emergency access. Okay. So basically, yeah. is it's part of your plan or do you pay a little oh, yeah. more? No, no. It's part of the plan now. Okay. It's wow. That's oh, actually incredible. Oh yeah, you know because the the worst thing. Okay, over the over the over the holidays that we just passed over the, the New Year's holiday, right? I got a flat tire. Oh, nice. and I thought ah, oh, it was I was really you know I was a block away from home, so it's no big deal really, but I couldn't go anywhere to get it fixed. You no, know, not that time. I, I, I had know. to use I had to use the, the donut and whatever. Okay, so but the bottom line is you begin to realize everybody closes at certain times. There's certain dates where nobody works. Right. If you get an emergency, if you have a problem at the wrong time, you'll never get an attorney unless you're paying them thousands of dollars to keep them on retainer and they'll answer the phone at night. If you have this plan, if you have that, that service, no matter where you are at night, they'll answer the phone. Correct. I don't care if it's Christmas morning at 2 o'clock in the morning and you're in an accident or something else comes up with the police or questioning you about something, you'll be able to have an attorney on the phone within just a very and, few minutes. And that... Well, that will that will motivate the the officer to call you sir, as Absolutely. opposed to get out of your car and shut up. I mean, you know, it just makes a big difference when they know that you have representation right there. Not that officers are, are inappropriate or anything like that, but you just never know. You very politely say, "Officer, may I speak to my attorney?" Mm -hmm. And that that that's a major benefit. It's a major benefit for those of us that drive around all, all over town and and you know, I'm not reckless by any means. I haven't had an accident in. 30 or 40 years. I don't have accidents, period. But you just never know who's going to hit you. There you go. You know, and what's going on in the market. So, okay. So, that's another reason why people would want to look at Legal Shield uh, without question. So, what's your number one reason, Stan? Before we close the, our, our, our show today, give us your number one reason why you think people should actually become a part of this and, and, and call you. Why people should become a member is to protect themselves, mm -hmm. their families, their businesses, and their assets. Because anybody can sue anybody for anything in this world right. today. And they do. And they do. If you have accidents, whatever the reason might be, just to know that you get that peace of mind to talk to an attorney 
to make that right decision Very good. every single time. This is Stan Millican, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he's been on our show, and he's part of our Chamber of Commerce. You can find him also, for sure, at our Vintage Park Chamber meetings, also at the Woodlands Chamber meetings, and tomorrow at Katy. Now, if you want to reach out to him, his number is 832-671-5050, 671-5050. Legal Shield, you can't be without this plan. So uh, if you're listening and you don't have a plan, give Stan a buzz and get on this right away. I'm Dr. Carlos Sanchez. This is the Hispanic Chamber Connection radio show where we're on every Tuesday from 2 to 3 p.m. We thank you very much for being on the show today, Stan. Thank you very much for the we'll opportunity. We'll Love see you it. tomorrow for sure. Yes, sir. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, and have a great week. Thank you for checking out this production of Lone Star Community Radio. Lone Star Community Radio is Montgomery County's community radio station. Don't forget to check out this show and many others across the Lone Star Community Radio Network. Either live on Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1, the Lone Star Internet Radio app, or IRLoneStar.com's live audio stream, and on replay on podcast, Channel 12, Our City TV, and Conroe, or Channel 21, KVQT in Houston, and of course, their YouTube channel. This production is copyrighted and all rights are reserved by Lone Star Community Radio. Have a question regarding this program or other Lone Star Community Radio shows? Want to sponsor or start your own show? Call the station message line at 936-647-3776 or email the station at lscrstudios at gmail.com.